Hi, this is Lee Giles from Easy Peasy Alderman Homeschool. The scripture is 2 Samuel 6, 14, and David danced before the Lord with all his might. And also 2 Samuel 19, 4, the king covered his face and cried out with a loud voice, Oh, my son Absalom, oh, Absalom, my son, my son. It's another Old Testament example for us. He worships the Lord and acknowledges the Lord as the one who gives him deliverance when he faces an opponent, whether a lion or a giant. He lives on the run from Saul, but at the same time, he's given victory in everything he does. He acts on his spirit-given convictions. He honors God, and God honors him. He gets the kingdom. He wins every battle. He rejoices in the Lord's presence with dancing. His kingdom grows and is established. He sins. His life is no longer marked by continuous victory. He lives with the struggle of his son's sins. He lives with heartache. He has to flee his own home. His kingdom goes to war with itself when his son announces himself as king. While David does get the victory, it leaves him heartbroken and crying out, Oh, Absalom, my son Absalom. It wasn't a celebration of the Lord's goodness. It was a reminder of the deadliness of sin. Yes, David was forgiven. The prophet Nathan tells him that his sin is wiped out. David can live in God's presence and spend eternity with him. But is that the life you want to live? life of defeat and heartbreak? As long as you get to heaven in the end? Or do you want to live a life of joy and dancing and victory over God's enemies, seeing his kingdom grow and established? In God's mercy, we do not experience all the consequences of our sin. We wouldn't be able to bear it. David killed a righteous man. It was a big deal. God knew what David needed. He's a good God who does all things well.